Hi, I'm Jacqueline, and this is the Bubblegum Bus. Come on in. This is our little uh, living room, we'll call it. We have a bench here. We had a bench over here too, but we need some storage. So we built this for a while, and eventually we'll turn it back into some storage. And my daughter and I live together. We're two adults, so we wanted a bedroom in the back and a bedroom in the front. So we built her a bunk here. And then we have a bunk for the dogs under there. They're very spoiled. Each dog has their own room. And then my daughter has her own over here, um, like her own office. She wanted to sit and when she does her computer or draws or crafts. And then she has a whole storage over here where we built the, the shelves up here with a little lip so everything stays and we don't have to worry about it. And then underneath, we're really filled with Ikea furniture in here. So this is like her closet. And all these cubbies have all her clothes in it and all her things. And it's nice because it just stores away. And let's see. Doggies, doggies. Under here. Then we, when we come in here, everything's about 75% done. We still have beams showing. And, and uh, we have to do some more trim and things like that over the year. But it's, it's all functional. So we have fridge, just from Home Depot, all electric, um, dehydrator, microwave. And then this is what I like the most is my big kitchen. I wanted the, because like I said, we're both adults, so I could be cooking over here and she could be making a sandwich over here. Um, eight, we have eight foot on one side and seven feet on the other side. And again, and lots of Ikea furniture. This is an island from Ikea and all of our storage and food is under here and our dog food. And we could actually go camping two to three weeks and have enough food from everything that's in there. Okay. Yeah, do you want to know any more extra details or did you get just like that? Okay. No, it's just mainly uh, we're looking at the layout. Okay, okay. Okay, ready to go again? Oh, it hasn't stopped. Oh, you kept uh, going. I'll, I'll, I'll edit out a little bit. Cut out the, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so back to all my appliances are electric, um, which I, because I run off of my solar. I have 900 watts of solar. And I didn't want um, a stove in here with the flames and things, so I went with solar and I bought extra solar so I would not have to worry about it so much. So I have a convection hot plate, a convection oven, and I can bake anything, my birthday cakes to Christmas dinner, anything. Um, on this side, both sides have, again, the, the shelves like I have in my daughter's room with the lip on it, so nothing falls out. So we have, like, bread boxes and... and um, our dishes and things over on this side we have all the pantry food where like I said I could go camping for months and have flour and rice and things and oils and I could just cook forever if I wanted to yeah. so I like the thought of just being able to pull out whatever I want um, we went to also we went to Home Depot and I got these cabinets I didn't want to build anything at first because I wanted to make sure that I wanted to use that um, so we got two cabinets from Home Depot, and then we have more storage in here from Ikea. So it makes it easy. And what I, when we put things in our layout, I like to see if it's functional first. I like to try it, see if it works for us. And if it doesn't, then we rearrange and change it out. Um, so we started out with a, one of those uh, silver bins as a sink. Got a hole in it, but then I, it didn't work for us. So I dropped in this sink from Ikea and, and the... Um, faucet to match with everything. We did some beadboard in the beginning and I found now that I don't like beadboard. You can't wash it, you can't keep it clean and fresh. So I'm gonna either swap it out soon or or paint over it so so it matches what I like more. Okay so kitchen, lots of storage, lots of space. I like it open and um, it, this really works for us, the layout that we did here. As we get back here a little bit we start to the bathroom area. It's not finished um, this whole area here is just a little RV tub right now that just doesn't work. It's way too small for us. And it's on the wheel well. So we're going to take the bathroom toilet and put it in this area. And then off the wheel well have a little uh, tiled area to a shower stall here. So it'll give us much more room for the shower and I'll be able to stand up. Because up on the wheel well, you have to think of how tall you are. I'm 5'8", so a tub up on the wheel well doesn't work for me. I can't stand up. Um, this room right now is the bathroom room, but we're going to actually move it to that side. And this is going to become 
uh, all open and I'm gonna put a stairway here so we can get to the top and walk up to our deck so that's why in the beginning if you're just trying things out we took cardboard and we just stapled up some cardboard and painted it in some spots we just made a little cheapy door because I know this area is temporary so later I'll take that down and we'll build the stairway okay then we get back to my room I the whole place is framed out and insulated up until the bathroom and I haven't done my room yet I wanted to get all that done up there first and uh, then I come to my room so I'm gonna frame it out soon and put more insulation and things like that but I'm getting there so to my room again lots of Ikea furniture all these cubbies um, hold my clothes and my office things and little things and then underneath I have enough room for shoe storage there I'd like to add some shelves up here like I did in the kitchen um, so then all this could be a little more empty and go up um, it works my whole office here my you know makeup girl stuff over there do my hair um, we have a lot of room so I, I really like the layout over here we have a regular Ikea bed right now but I'm gonna make this into a horizontal Murphy bed so during the day if I'm working at my office I could have a lot more space in my room flip that up and then the dogs could be here or or even people could come in the back door and and hang out here and talk with me um, so this is just temporary and hopefully by next year I'll have the horizontal Murphy, Murphy bed done um, I still have my back door we can't figure out how to get a, a lock on the front door it didn't have any when we got it so we actually still climb in and out the back door and we have a ladder right here in the corner that we hide and pull out when we need to I love I kept I didn't do any wood on my ceiling I didn't take out the insulation do anything to it this is the original but I love it because it's one big magnet I uh, hear um, some stores sell uh, curtain rods with magnets on there and then Home Depot I love these lights they're just magnet and they charge USB so I have great lighting at night I have a backup lighting of um, just um, battery operated lights for some and these are velcro and I do that because sometimes we camp in maybe Oregon where we get no solar so we'll charge up the USB lights but then there'll be a day or two where we have nothing so I always have a backup battery so I, I flip back and forth between electric and battery for everything mm -hmm. like my night lights are batteries and um, I have fan I have a fan that I plug in but I also have a, a fan with a lithium battery so we always have the backup and I don't like I'm a person I don't like to do two of everything but in this lifestyle you never know where you park you never know what weather you're gonna have so we do have a lot of backups of between electric and battery operated things uh, let me see oh let me tell you my biggest thing of all I love my floor the first thing we did was put in this floor I love it I went to a flooring company and I asked them if they just had a little extra left over I said I only needed you know 250 square feet and um, he took me to the back and he let me choose some different things. So the first thing we did, I bought it with the seats out and we came in and we put the flooring in. So I really love the floor most of all, more than anything in here. Um, and then we had a little bus so we had to move out of that quick and get into here. So we just kept putting regular furniture in different places just to make things functional. So um, now a year later, now we have all our rooms and mm -hmm. all the things we need. And <laughs> now if people wanted to follow you on uh on social media uh, I, I signed up for everything so it's bubblegum bus and we have our we're starting our YouTube now we're starting to put some videos on there plus of course Instagram Twitter and Facebook and it's all just straight bubblegum bus and uh, we didn't put videos in the beginning but we did document everything along the way so um, now I'm pulling all the picture and, and videos of how I did the plumbing I went underneath the bus and did the plumbing and how we you know did the floors and how I cut the hole for the sink so I like to show you know other people that are nervous to do it and also women that say I can't do it I want to show them yes you can it's easy and I did my whole bus in the middle of parking lots in the city because that's where we live so it can be done anywhere you anywhere any place and anything you need to do you can find a way to get it, get it done so that's what our YouTube will show along the way okay. well thank you for the tour you're welcome thank you so much I love your channel I hope you enjoyed uh, the tour of this week's rig and uh, join us again next Saturday for another episode.